As we take a closer look this week at the Oakland County child killer case, we're hearing from those who have a real stake in unraveling the mystery that has frustrated investigators now for more than four decades. But the person who's invested the most is undoubtedly Barry King. His son was the fourth and final known victim, and he's been doing everything possible to ensure this case is not forgotten. Local 4 defender Kevin Dietz here now with the story of Barry King and what he's calling his final life goal. Kevin. That's right. By March of 1977, three children had been abducted. Mark Stebbins from Ferndale, Jill Robinson from Royal Oak, and Christine Mahalik from Berkeley. Terrified families were now certain the murders were the work of a serial killer. In Birmingham, the King family was about to find out that the Oakland County child killer would strike again. I'm convinced to this day that when Timmy was kidnapped, he knew what was going to happen to him. He was 11 or 12 years old took his skateboard, went down the street. And was never seen again. This is where the youngster was last seen leaving at 8.30 Wednesday night. And authorities are saying that somebody must have seen something that evening, and they're asking people to come forward. To those persons or person who may be with Tim, uh, I don't know if you have children or if you want to have some, but please treat Tim the same way you would your own kid. The clock was ticking and you knew that these kids were going through something horrible. Tentatively, the body of the young lad down there is Timothy King. I was in bed uh, and had the radio on and they said something about finding the body there and I knew it had to be Tim. And it was verified shortly thereafter. This is a composite picture of a witness that we feel was the last person to see the missing boy in the Birmingham area. I can't imagine anybody doing what they're doing. And I can't imagine people not turning people in to do that. With the public being so fearful, the last thing they needed was to see quarreling police officers, but that's what they saw. And so now they were frightened about a killer and they were frightened that the police were bungling this case. It seems like every time I get one piece of information, it raises two more questions. I trusted the police and the prosecutor to do the right thing by me. Police still have a whiteboard with their top 19 suspects' names on it. Some are in jail, some are dead. None have been charged with the death of these four children. As our investigation continues, we will look closely at who the King family thinks killed their son and where police say the actual DNA evidence is leading law enforcement right now. Okay.